What's up guys, it's Average Old, making average content for the average viewer, and today I wanted to make a little video on how to win more gunfights in Cold War, and just how to get more kills in Cold War in general. Before we get on with it, if you find this video in any way useful, then a like rating is always very appreciated. And if you're brand new here, then it would be awesome if you'd subscribe. But with that out of the way, let's get on with the rest of the video. So if you've been playing Cold War over the last few days like I have, you may have noticed that this game plays a hell of a lot differently to last year's Modern Warfare. And as a result, playstyles that might have worked for you for the past year may not be working so well in your favour at the moment. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like every Cold War match I play seems to be filled with more sweaty people than Comic Con if it was in a massive bell tent in the middle of the Sahara Desert, either holding long lines of sight with godly aim or jumping around corners like some sort of coked up frog. As a result, there are a few tips I have for you to help give you an edge in these sorts of situations and hopefully get you raking in the kills and improving that KD because we all know that if the KD is low, you ain't getting hose. So, the first major thing that I want to talk to you about is choosing a weapon that is going to fit your playstyle. For me, I have always been a massive SMG player. I've always played fairly fast-paced and really enjoyed pushing into the enemy side of the map and taking on multiple gunfights at once. However, after I got the MP5 Gold, I realised that if I wanted to see much more success in this game, I was going to have to take a slightly slower and more methodical approach. And and this is why I started using the assault rifles. The assault rifles in this game are super, super strong. Like, I mean, if you compare these to any of the SMGs other than the MP5, they feel like bloody spud guns in comparison. I found that when I switched to using an assault rifle, then my consistency improved dramatically. Now, to be clear, I'm not suggesting that you pull the classic modern warfare and just sit in a corner with one finger up your ass and your PP pee -pee and a claymore. But instead, you should move through the map deliberately and cautiously, being sure to check any angle that could be a possible threat. The nice thing is, is that due to the time to kill in Cold War, you will be able to hop into cover if you start to get shot at and then reposition. And then once you get into the mid map, you'll be the one that is able to hold angles and pick people off from power positions and objectives. My next point that I wanted to make is in regards to how you build your class setups. There are a number of attachment attributes that you should be paying very close attention to in order to give you a solid advantage in your gunfights. The biggest thing that I want to make mention is that you're going to have to look at the bullet velocity. In all of the Call of Duties before Modern Warfare, there was no such thing as bullet velocity as all of these games worked with a hitscan model, meaning that where you aimed when you pulled the trigger is where the bullet is going to go. Then in Modern Warfare, we moved on to a projectile based mechanic whereby the bullet actually travels through the air in real time and as a result has a specific time that it takes to travel to its destination. This wasn't ever a real issue in the Modern Warfare 6v6 maps as the bullet velocity velocity was actually really fast. However, in Cold War, you can make these guns far slower than the average ejaculate. The biggest offender of this by far is going to be the suppressors. These are becoming somewhat of an essential within the Cold War meta as not showing up on the minimap when you fire is so, so useful at not giving your position away. However, this comes with a downside and that is that you can quite dramatically affect your bullet velocity and therefore you really need to make sure that you compensate for this with other attachments. Just briefly, the reason that you don't want a slow bullet velocity are actually quite important. For starters, the amount you'll have to adjust your aim and account for bullet drop and leading your targets will be fairly substantial. And in a game where headshot matter so much you really don't want to have to worry about bullet drop in a fast paced multiplayer map. But perhaps more importantly, if for example you take the XM4 which is fully decked out with all of its bullet velocity attachments and you're trying to shoot at that dude with a suppressed Milano, then they will have the opportunity to hit you with two bullets before you can even land one. That means that what you thought is a 50-50 gunfight just isn't and you'll be dead whilst your bullets are still flying in the air. I cannot stress enough how important this tip is. Don't overlook bullet velocity and if you start building your classes in this way, I promise you the difference is honestly night and day. Okay, so now you've built yourself a high bullet velocity assault rifle and you've adapted to the slightly more tactical playstyle but you still find that you're losing some very annoying gunfights. Well, this could be because you're moving too predictably. Because of the high time to kill in 
this game, you really need to start focusing on some more advanced movement. What I mean by this is that as well as trying to be accurate and hit your shots, you really need to make sure that you are making yourself as hard to hit as possible. Now, there are a few things that you should do in this regard, and obviously a few things that you shouldn't. In previous Call of Duties, drop shotting or the act of going prone mid gunfight were very useful tactics. However, in Cold War, this is not very advisable at all for a number of reasons. The first being that without the right attachments, you will have to take your hand off of the gun and therefore not be able to aim down sight whilst you're drop shotting. This will obviously be a problem as it means from the time it takes you to go from standing to prone, you are not going to be accurate. Meanwhile, your opponent has to just keep tracking you down all the way and you'll be dead before you can even say dolphin dive. The other reason that I wouldn't do this that often is due to the headshot multiplier. Over the years, COD has conditioned us to always aim at center mass due to flinch so that we would be flinched up to the head. This means that most enemies will be aiming at your stomach or chest when you start a gunfight. In Cold War, headshots play a huge part in damage per second and the problem is by drop shotting or even crouching, you are effectively putting your head right into the line of fire and therefore making your time to die a lot faster. So instead, I would suggest getting used to jumping when you're in combat. This has the opposite effect as it means that instead of your chest, you are now getting shot in the stomach or legs which will do less damage overall. As well as this, it will bump your aim up to the enemy's head. So not only are you going to be dying slower, but you're actually going to kill faster as well. It's two for the price of one. It's knobbing two birds with one Johnny. There are many more things you could do to improve your chances at winning gunfights, and I will be making many more videos like this as the year goes on. I just think that these things that I've mentioned today are going to dramatically improve your gameplay, but make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss any of my next Black Ops Cold War videos. But that's about it for today. If you've watched these videos for a while, you'll know that I love to see who sticks around until the end of these little videos. So if you're still here, I'd like you to let me know by answering this question down in the comments. What was your kill to death ratio in Modern Warfare and has it improved or not in Black Ops Cold War? Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Average Joel. Peace.